In today's episode of Vintage Lenses, we're going to take a look at the Helios 44-2. And as always, this episode brought to you by 909 Sunglasses. With its cult-like following, the Helio 44-2 is a replica of the Carl Zeiss Biotar 58mm F2. But with a price tag online for about 80 bucks, that makes you wonder, is this lens worth it? Produced in the Soviet Union from 1958 until the late 1980s, it's considered to be one of the most mass-produced lenses in the world. The Helios comes in many versions, different mounts. The one shown here is a D-clicked aperture ring. Now, when it comes to focus, it's rather smooth, but it's an entire 360 turn. Shooting at the 58mm focal length can be a bit of a challenge. So who is this lens good for? Well, it's good for close-ups, detailed shots, and maybe even a little bit of portrait work. At nighttime, the bouquet is unbelievably smooth. The oval shapes indistinguishable to any other lens in this class. Minimum focusing distance is a shallow 40 millimeters. Color is good. I didn't have an issue with desaturation. Sometimes that happens on old lenses, but let's run it back and look at what the color actually looked like coming straight out of the camera. Now to your right, you'll see the original footage. I haven't changed it that much. I took it to the studio and wow. The shadow depth of field just really shows characteristics in these lenses. So how do you make this work for your Sony camera? Well, you're gonna need an adapter. This one's a M42 to NEX. You're gonna need, of course, three Helios. And if you want to make sure, you can open this bad boy all the way up outside, and you're also going to need your polarizer. 